Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel KSM1313 Live. Today we're going to discuss really exciting topic, um, very simple, but very exciting and very, very important. Okay, so let's start and um, dig into what exactly the topic will be. There you go. And it's, it's about account and person account. Very crucial. Person account. I get so many questions about the person account. What is it? What? How we settle it? I know we've done many solution designs in fast, basically, where we end up setting up uh, differently. But we have a good option. It's it's been it's been there for a long time now. But we're going to discuss and let's see how we can manage this. Okay. So here it is. Um, my social contacts, guys, please keep in touch and uh, follow, like, comment, subscribe wherever you can, whenever you can. And here is my master link, which is linktr.ee slash ksm1313 live. Um, keep in touch and always, always help me uh, sending me ideas, guys. Thank you so much. And let's move to the real topic, account versus person account and how they should work. Okay. Account, everybody knows, it's it's a client, it's a company, it's a business name, right? You enter a name, I have a company name like ABC Big Data Limited, right? And and what, what we do, we create a, a contact based on that, okay, or based on that account. So ABC Big Data have a contact name, John McDonald, right? But where is person account coming from? Let's see the difference. So the person account can be a single person who's running a, uh, a working as a sole trader. It can be a uh, you know owner of the small business basically, and and he does all independent services. So individual consumer and sole sole, sole traders can be a, a person account. How we store data in Salesforce, how we manage these two things. This is what we're going to 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 see. So yeah, so keep an eye. The main thing is the contact and person account. That will be a magic in the Salesforce database. All right, let's see in action. Um, the last one, and you know what, what it's, it's all about comments. And uh, this is what I need. And from, from, from your help guys, stay connected. Okay, let's go to the Salesforce and see the things in a real action. Right, Salesforce. I have a tab named accounts and I have a tab named contacts. There is no real tab name called person account here. I can't see it, right? But it will come. As, a, as I said, it will be a magic and uh, you know it will come, right? But before I start that, what you need to know is how to enable the person account in the business and why it is important, okay? Um, but let's, let's have a look first how it looks like it. When I come here, um, as usual, you click on new button from here or or if you are on the main page, you click new button here. So you've got two places and look, ta -da, here is person account. It appears, it's magic, right? But it looks really simple. And you click next, you can enter the data. Well, I'm not going to enter right now, but let's have a look the mystery behind how it just appeared, okay? We have an option in the setup, in, in the backend. So don't need to know, but it's just, just an idea how we should enable it. Okay, allow customer to support enable person account and it can be only done by Salesforce. A little, little alert normally comes in as soon as you get your org or if you have existing um, cloud setup, you can request Salesforce support team. They can, they can enable it for you and it's available. And you will also get alert, person account is enabled and cannot be disabled. Okay, be careful with it. So when you need it, um, you know, once you do it, it cannot be disabled, but you can hide it depending on your uh, admin settings. There, there, are, there is always a config part uh, that plays a big role. Okay. Now, let's see things in a real action. So I'm on account and let's create a new account. So what I will do, I will first create a person account. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do that. And look, account name I am creating my expectation was limited company, but obviously we talk about individual and sole trader um, account basically. Don't need a limited company name. I'm gonna put a name only, Sherry, right? The last name, man. 
right? And I would call Mr. Yeah, let's give the salutation. Let's see how things working. And you will see the real picture. Yes, it's my active. And I'm going to call this PER001. Right, let's give an email address as well. Sherry has an email. So Sherry, um, Sherry test at test domain dot com and this is how it looks and let's do we have anything yeah standard billing address shipping address always available it's a standard thing um, there's no change in here let's save the data i am successfully uh, just created the person account i have created okay now let's go to back into accounts and I can see the account have been created It's created by this guy and now let's create a second one consume a uh, customer account next and I would call this guy a big data uh, ABC big data limited okay limited now again same pick list active yes and I'm going to call this guy a reference number is AC001 because this is a real account. Um, on the right hand side, you have a parent account. If there is any parent account exists, you can add. And if, if you don't have, you can also create new. But we're not talking about parent account here, just a heads up. Again, we have a billing address, shipping address here. You can add industry specific, everything is here. Same as person account, we have those numbers. Okay, let's save this data. So I have created two different records on account layout. So ABC Big Data Limited and Sherryman. So my expectation is Sherryman is actually a contact as well because he is he or she is a has got contact details. Okay. So let's click on contact, and and I can see Sherryman. So now I can't see the other company I have created because that company doesn't have a contact yet, right? So I can only see Sherry, which is number eight here, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going back to the big data and go to related, and I'm going to create a contact for this guy. And so John and McDonald, and I'm gonna put his email address is here. So I'm calling John test at test big data dot com that's his email address let's say let's just call an email address and i'm going to enter dummy phone number on both places and hit save there you go contact is related to this okay so now if i go back to the contact and i can see john mcdonald appears but when i see all contacts i can see sherry man also appeared with can I see John McDonald here? Yes. So here you go. So you got both. But when I right click and open Sherry, it actually goes as a account. But Sherry also has a name, not doesn't have an account name, a, a company name, but this is actually a company name. And this is for individual. This is a magic. This is how Salesforce uh, relationship works for, for person account and the and and the and the proper client basically and it stores data it's it's a magic for the end users guys because they can manage it so frequently they can run different reports they can run um, you know dashboards based on all that basic it, it it is it is very good it's and very handy okay you can manage any person account any 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 uh, client account this way and it works there you go and now what the benefit is it will avoid any duplicate contacts as well because i remember previous talks sometimes there were businesses they were using uh, as a account type or oh, i have a sole trader account type i have a contractor account type and what they used to do they they put some uh, you know temporary names and then connect with the with the, with the contact names etc you don't need to do that because your client reference number or account number is actually assigned to a correct person who doesn't have a company name and your database in the Salesforce is, is saving very, very correctly. And, and that's it, guys. This is very simple. And this is this was the difference. And this is how it works. So any questions, any, any doubts, feel free to contact me.
um, comment me, give me an ideas if there is any improvement required or if you want to see anything further on it, I will be in touch and we'll pick it up. All right. Thank you so much, guys. And um, have a good one. Keep watching and keep subscribing and giving me ideas. Chase, bye.